Jerry. <laughs> you right here. No, let's do let let us do it right here. <laughs> the car wash and the reindeer. <laughs> Too much fun here today. Woo! Oh my goodness. Here we are. Welcome to Hi. Recipe of the Day. Thank you for joining us. I have a very special guest here today. As you can see, we are kicking off the holiday season because Thanksgiving is officially behind us. See ya. So it is the Christmas holiday season and we are kicking it off with style. <laughs> this is Rhonda Holden. She is the Ventura County Supreme number one escrow officer. Hi. So if you need to buy or sell a house, she's your girl. And when you buy and sell a house with me, this is who does your escrow. So the dynamic duo here live making some right. fun things today. Um, we are going to make something I have never made. So we're all in this t together. We are going to make homemade pretzel dogs. So have um. you ever made a pretzel from scratch? Well, neither have we. <laughs> Oh so, yeah, you should have seen the before show. It was quite a, <laughs> my good. So come along for the ride. We have two cocktails uh, today too. We have an adult cocktail and we have a kids cocktail that you are going to be shocked. Uh, we had a fan send us that one off Snapchat, and we are doing it today. So let's. We're going to start with these pretzel dogs. So uh, we already made the dough and we've let it rise for an hour. Um, and so now our dough has doubled in size. So in this dough, I'll post the recipe, but we've got um, four and a half cups of flour, yeast, salt, sugar, uh, some Ita uh, Italian spice, and some Parmesan cheese. It smells so good. Is what's she in. always says, it smells so good. And I'm like, what is it? She's smelling. I'm smelling it. I'm telling you all, <laughs> this smells so good. So we are making, now we just put this out on a greased mat. Like I am, you know, not... A big baker but we're just putting this out on a grease mat it said to cut the dough into 10 pieces so we're going to start with eight here so because they're going to be a little bit large I'm gonna make <laughs> Those are big. they're too big <laughs> but we're going to cut them a little smaller so we'll just slice we these up a little bit dog in there well yeah, we might and then i have of course all our favorites on the hot dogs we'll cut this one smaller so we're going to we're just going to give it a whirl here take one of the smaller ones okay. and we'll try it okay so I'll show you here. I have my absolute best, our very favorite, Silva. These are the best hot links ever. Now, I'm married to a man that loves bologna and hot dogs. I know. But these are unbelievable. Silva hot links, they're the best. Mm. They're too hot for you. She's a gringo. But those are yummy. And then I bought br uh, bratwurst, which are my favorite. I love bratwurst, so I bought these. Now we're I like. And the, then I also bought, of course, you know, Hebrew Nationals, the best. So we are going to try this with all of our favorites. So how's it going there? Rope just, soap on a you rope? You know, it actually ropes quickly. Hey, Florence, how are you? What? Gary wants us closer. Okay, pull the mat. Director is giving us direction. Okay. All right. Closer. Okay. So we're making a rope. How, how big so is a rope? Soap on a rope. Okay. <laughs> Don't we look cute, Florence? <laughs> this is that one you wrap in and you, I, like they do at the mall. Well, we're not making a pretzel. We're making we're pretzel make, dogs. We're going to wrap it around the dog. Okay, I think that's so, big enough. You think it's long enough to wrap around the dog? <laughs> Maybe you're just long. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we are, we're just going to try this out. But boy, this dough smells good. Oh, I've never made pretzels. It smells like that when you but, walk into a bread store or yeah. a bread. I don't know. You just get that good. smell. Of, uh, okay. Uh, you want just a regular dog? That's what I grew up on. Okay. Hebrews National, I grew the up best. on. I'm going to do a bratwurst. Oh, you're? So let's see. Okay, let's see. Oh, I see you. Who's on my Instagrammers? Hey, Instagrammers. Okay, so I'm going to try this hey, bratwurst. Hey, Terry. How are you? And we got Florence and Terry. Oh, hey, my... Bill. How are you? We I'm are thinking... kicking out the holiday season here. We are making homemade pretzel dogs. <laughs> and I've got bratwurst in mine, and Rhonda has Hebrew National in hers. But you may not see and by the time I roll this So on. we're trying to cover this whole thing. Now the directions said secure the dough, the recipe, at the end of the dog. Well, how exactly are you supposed to secure the dough? Hey. I don't know. Hey, look at that. Look at Almost perfect. Oh, oh my look gosh. At that. Almost perfect. 
good. Cheers. Boop. Okay, so we are gonna cook these. I have um, 10 cups of boiling water behind us that we put um, two thirds of a cup of baking soda in. And since we've never made a pretzel, do I tuck know? it underneath? Oh, well, no. that's what I did. So I tuck it, tucked it, tucked okay. it underneath. I pushed secured. it. I pushed it. Made it flat. So these are cute. So I'm gonna throw mine in 30 seconds. So um, director, can you time us thir uh, 30 seconds here? Okay, you put yours I'm gonna in. Put it in. Okay. 30 seconds in. So I don't know. I've never put talk amongst it. yourselves. Go <laughs> in water. Have you? That's how you make pretzels. I did not know that. That's how you make bagels too. Did not know that. <laughs> See, she had to come, come on the show to learn something new. To cook. <laughs> you know, oh knows gosh. me very well. Have you ever made a pretzel from scratch? Anyone? Or a bagel from scratch? Same thing. You boil it first. Are you counting, Gary? Okay, he's counting. Husband is counting. I mean, my daughter. It's, it's rolling. rolling. It's rolling. Okay. It's, they're both, like, rolling, rolling very quickly inside the pot. Why oh are they gosh. rolling? That's pretty weird. I don't know, but they're cool. I'll show you. I'm saying, okay, that that's it. Okay, so we're gonna scoop these babies out and put them on the cookie sheet here. So, ow! It's hot. That water is boiling. They were rolling. They were rolling. Oh my gosh, look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, let's show let's show them how cute these are. They came the dough, out really well. the dough puffed up a little bit. Can you see them? But aren't those cute? I mean, how cool is that? Homemade bagel dogs. It only took me like five. Five, uh, five minutes to make the dough. Wow. And then an hour to let it rise. So let's try and make one we more. We can make more than ten yeah. with this batch. Yeah. I'm so just let's, saying. let's um, cut this, you know, cut it down. Yeah, I don't there know we how go. much we need to make one. But we're going to do, a, do another one here. How fast we can go. We're trying. Go faster. <laughs> we're trying. Now that we're getting the hang of it, now that we've made our first one. Because, <laughs> you know, I could practice and do this before I did the show, but why? Why I'm going to get my whole body into it. <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Okay, how cute do we look? Rhonda, look at our Instagrammers. We can see ourselves. This is the, this is what Christmas looks like. This is what my Christmas. So looks another like. reason I picked this recipe today, not because I thought Rhonda and I would be hilarious trying to do to do to do this, our best Lucy and Ethel impression, <laughs> but um, it'd be something fun to do with your kids. Because you know everyone is looking for things to do with their kids. If you guys missed, um, we made for my son's 17th birthday, I had a little surprise get together, just real small, but we did a craft and look what we made. Oh my gosh. Because, oh. <laughs> you know, whatever you can do to embarrass teenage boys. Right. So we made these Pop-Tart, um, gingerbread houses out of Pop-Tarts. I mean, hey, the things you learn on Facebook, it was a blast and they loved it. And all the boys oh. made them, it was so fun. I love, who doesn't so, love a Pop-Tart? I know. And plus, you know, when's the last time you had a Pop-Tart? <laughs> because when you have to trim them all to make the house and make the roof. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Which now, what dog you did make? you use last time? I'm going to use one you, I'm going to use this one. Brawlers? Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to make a hot link. Because hot links, these are literally, you guys, the best hot links. If you like hot links, these are the bomb. Okay. So here, let's try again. Okay. I hope I got enough. Dough to go around my my dog here. Pull it as oh, we go here. Oh, look! You make it too short. Yes. Just make just make and another. This just is make what another can one. happen. Just make another. No, just keep it on there, and just make a little a little a little one. Because if I, I stretch need it, too. no, I can stretch it. All right. Because I need a little more for my hot legs. <laughs> but then if we, it comes apart, you just the beautiful thing about dough is you just kind of. We are not up to date on our Play-Doh skills. <laughs> <laughs> our kids are too old for the Play-Doh skills. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this is totally fun. Oh man. Then just what did attach. you guys do for Thanksgiving? How's everyone's Thanksgiving? I made a new recipe, a new broccoli thing that was delicious. And I made that squash thing I made on the show last week. OMG. So delicious. Okay. See? He's he's perfect. He's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's really sad. My first one was perfect. Lisa's yeah. second one was better. You Mine see? was a little, it's, it's just not that pretty. <laughs> okay, into the water they go. Okay, timer, time us here. Okay. Oh, okay, splattered. so then the next step on these, I don't have the oven on right now, but we are gonna brush them with egg wash on all the way around and we will bake them in the oven at 450 degrees for 10, 12 to 14 minutes. And then when they come out, um, I don't have pretzel salt, but if you do, use your pretzel salt or coarse salt. I'm going to use this Malden 
um, sea salt flakes, because that's what I have. Oh, that's it. That's our 30 seconds. Wow, that was fast. Here. I'm going to take okay. those out of there. Okay. Um, and then we're going to sprinkle the salt on there as soon as it comes out when it's warm. Okay, so we'll do a little egg wash on those. I'll pull them when she gets them out. Okay. So these are now, the, the wet part is done. So we will, no, is that too far away for Gary? I'll probably just see, I have to ha have it here, okay. Can I move these? Yeah, just move the whole mat, because we're done with that. We're done okay. with, with project rolling while you guys are watching. We will roll more when you guys aren't here. Hey, Seal, how are you? And Florence, hey, Janet, how are you? We are making homemade pretzel dogs today, so let's make room to put our new ones. So to take the egg wash. And let's um, brush those. So on, in my bowl here, I have one. Come over here so my Instagrammers can see you. Um, one egg yolk in here with a little bit of water. Whipped it up with, with a fork. And we're going to put an egg wash on all sides of these. So they are ready. And it's safe these to put the salt so on good. first or after? Water mixture. Go it doesn't say anything. Where's the... And I move. Sprinkle with the pretzel salt. Oh, oh first. Before. Okay, so we're going to put the salt on now. So I'm using this again for another, for our cocktail, we're gonna make a salted caramel rim with the same salt. That's really what I'm here for. Right. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little bit of this Malden sea salt. Now my girlfriend, Megan, who sent me the turkey hats, if you saw those, I love the things you guys sent me. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Okay, so there's our sea salt on top of our pretzel dogs, and boom, we're gonna bake those in the oven for 12 to 14 minutes and we will have homemade pretzel dogs with our gourmet dogs inside. Yum. So we'll make a few more of those when, when you guys are not here. So let me uh, move on to our kids cocktail. Let's start there. Okay. So Sharon Young, my neighbor and dear friend and our COVID card night uh, buddy, we've played cards almost every Saturday night. Oh honey, I think I need um, plug. a plug to do this if you want me in the middle. Okay, hold on a second. So into the blender, we are going to put, because those Costco pies, you want to scoop two scoops of that in there? The Costco pies that, of course, are the very best. Why would you make a pumpkin pie? Costco pump, pumpkin pie is the total best. Um, so I, um, Sharon sent me a Snapchat yesterday of what to do with your leftover pumpkin pie. And I thought this was genius. Yes. So she put two scoops of, of ice cream in here. We're going to take our pumpkin pie. Since everyone has such a small gathering, everyone's got pie left, right? Like I have like almost a whole pecan Costco pie in my fridge. If anyone needs a slice, come on by. Okay, so in here, oh we lost our, there we go. Okay, give me some comments you guys. Comments, hey, hearts, please. likes. Oh, there's Lisa. Hey Christine, how are you? What's happening? Hey there. Okay, so this is your leftover pumpkin pie tip. Two scoops of vanilla ice cream. I'm going to take a slice of pie. We're going to dump that in there. Ooh, whoops. Just like that. Not a little more graceful than that. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? What a mess. Okay. And then we're going to put a little bit of milk in there. And then Rhonda going to give it a blend. My 30 year old oaster baby. Wow. I haven't still seen one of these in a while. I know. What a mess I made. Okay. Blend it up. And that was fast. Is that it? That's it. Okay, Look hold on. I have, that was. I have a pretty glass for our kids cocktail. Oh, that smells so good. Now you could make this a grown up cocktail if you wanted to by putting a little whatever you like in there. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Yum. On you that. have to leave it a little um, thick. And then I'm I a, have, a girl. I have fresh whipped cream here of course left. So we're going to put a little garnish on there. And I put a little nutmeg on top. You like nutmeg? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So put Pumpkin pie and nutmeg, it goes together, right? Yeah. Well, we're going to make a beautiful drink, right? On our kids' cocktail. Of course, you put a little see that? hooch in there. It'd be a grown-up oh, co uh, cocktail. But isn't that cool? Get Your ready? leftover pumpkin pie cocktail. Oh, my goodness. Okay, now how many of you have seen have seen that before? Because I never had. Wow. Yeah. Delicious. Seriously. Like good. seriously yummy. So there's your tip for your leftover pumpkin pie. Just turn it into a milkshake. Wow. Yeah. 
I'm not speechless very often. That's good. I'm speechless. <laughs> okay, on to the grown-up cocktail. Let me mm. talk about our grown-up oh cocktail. Grown-up cocktail. Well, there goes the kid cocktail right over there. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I, need, I need my shot glass. Because as you guys know, I use my little one-eighth measuring cup shot glass is one ounce. So today, we're going to be making a uh, rum chata, because you guys know how I found that rum chata when I've been looking at all these cocktails. Oh my gosh. Um, Stoli vanilla, because the recipe called for um, Smirnoff caramel, and they don't carry it anymore. So no problem. I can substitute. <laughs> so we're going to put two shots of, Not one, of two. vanilla vodka. Well, I'm making two cocktails. One for my lovely guest here. And then, um, earlier in the summer, we found these. Okay, these are rum chata. It's real rum. They come in these um, little coffee, see these? These little, you know, like wow. coffee creamer things. But it's booze. So I was like, you these are perfect for homeschooling moms. I thought, man, before you tackle like third grade math, you might just need a little rum chata in your coffee. Or an escrow officer at the end of the month. <laughs> I was literally laughing out loud in Venmo with the lady. Venmo. She was like, I'm like, oh, you have no idea how many ways rum chata could be used. And plus, I never had it. It's delicious. So into our Ooh, vodka goes our rum chata. Did you yeah. want two? Two, yeah, because we're making two cocktails. Oh, my gosh. I know. Okay, so then we have our beautiful glasses here, and Rhonda is going to dump out yep. the water out of those, and then she is going to try her artistic ability at making... And making a pretty top. I don't cook, but maybe I can make a pretty top. So she's gonna attempt to get the caramel around the rim, <laughs> around the rim of the glass, and then dip it in the salt, the Malden sea salt, okay. to try and make a salted caramel. I got this rim on our glass for our delicious cocktail here. <laughs> okay, I got it. I guess we could have put the caramel on the plate and dipped it in, but. Nah. No, please, why nah. do that to me? Let's get it all over the place. Why not? Okay, okay. And then get your little salt on there. In the meantime, I'm going to put a little bit of milk in our booze here. And then we're going to shake this baby. Kind of all over. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't mind me. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. It's pretty. Sort of. It's going it's to taste great. <laughs> One of my Good. sister, one of my sisters, I can't read them, they're too far away. You gotta read them. Look who's cooking! I know. Are we cute? Are we cute? Do you like our outfits, Julia? Hey, right? you missed, if you missed the beginning of the show, we did the reindeer. For our, ra <laughs> our reindeer dance. <laughs> that was a one-time show, Lisa. <laughs> Julia, you have to watch the replay. Oh my gosh. This, this is, is gonna scary. be delicious. Okay, our... Arts and crafts was not her strong suit. I'm a numbers girl. Give me numbers. Oh gosh. My cocktail's it's, it's getting nice and cold. I promise I am not trying to be for it again. Oh man. Okay. But okay. pretty, right? Yes. Right. And so there's always a way to get caramel into the drink. So here we go. This is our caramel rum chata deliciousness. Oh, it's pretty. Martini. Yes. Looks good, huh? Look, we got it all frothy. Wow. I know. How'd you get it so frothy? Shake, 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 baby. So you needed me to take longer with the caramel. Yes, yes I so did. Pretty. You made it so frothy. Yes. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Anybody, it's so fun to come be here. 
Oh my gosh, you get to see everyone. It's really fun. Okay. Um, yeah, next, sat next Saturday we have a special guest. My sister will be in town. So do you have any um, things you want her to teach you how to make? She is master baker. Um, uh, just let, let, uh, let me know and we will make them. So today on our birthday shout out, I don't think I can fit my birthday shout out hat on my head today because I'm a reindeer today. <laughs> so pretend birthday shout out hat because today we have um, three birthdays, actually I have four. So today's birthday, Cindy Benson, actually I think these were yesterday's. Cindy Benson and then Natalie Neath, realtor in LA, and Tava Miata, oh my gosh, longtime friend. Happy birthday to you guys. And then today is Becky Harvey's birthday. Woo! Becky and her husband are big realtors in Telluride, Colorado. If you need to buy a home in Telluride, she's your girl. They're the best, um, George and Becky. But it is her big, uh, it is a decade birthday for her today, but I won't say wh which one. So happy birthday to you, dear Becky. She is such a blast. Um, and then today is also Small Business Saturday, so be sure to support your small businesses. Um, go and buy gift cards, please, from your small businesses for your holiday gifts or gifts. Um, and please support them because we want our small businesses and restaurants to be here yes. in 2021. Um, and then it is also French Toast Day today, but we didn't make French Toast um, today. And then tomorrow is Mousse Day. Like chocolate mousse, Ooh. you could make... Blue cheese mousse, cheese mousse, you can make it savory, sweet, but if you love mousse, tomorrow is your day, so I thought I'd give you a heads up so you could plan. And mousse means what? Mousse means foam in French. <laughs> so yeah. mousse means foam. Did you know that? See all the things you learn here? <laughs> um, and then our drawing today, so you know these uh, video, video, video videos are here. They're on Facebook. They're also on Instagram. They're also on our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate, so please go and subscribe. Um, we love to have you subscribe. We're just trying to get to a thousand. We're almost there. Um, and then the recipes too, I post them in YouTube and Facebook so you can make all these yummy things that we make. Um, hey Libby, how are you? Oh my gosh, Libby, friend from college. How are you? Happy oh, Thanksgiving Libby. to everyone. Can I get your number so I can hear stories? <laughs> um, so today's giveaway <laughs> is, so if you have liked or commented on the videos, you are in the fish. So all of my fans and followers are in here um, at our giveaway today, because you didn't see me use it, because I made the dough while we were waiting for, for you guys, but this nice big five cup flour sifter for your holiday baking, because it's officially holiday baking season, and to go with that, just because, you know, I love you guys, Aww. we got some mistletoe! Nice. You have to hang it, and you have to kiss your spouse or your child every time you walk under it the whole month for my dog so or your dog Mia <laughs> hi Mia is she watching I don't she's, know she she's, watches her mommy everywhere she's on the pet cam <laughs> okay guess oh I'm gonna reach in there my hands are pretty sticky okay well who's gonna get to a good it. one be like Heather and draw yourself right that's what I'm wondering Ginger Brandstrom, my, she does my nails, look how beautiful my red nails are. Nice. Congratulations, Ginger, time okay. to get bacon. Okay. Oh, another one? Dig, dig deep, we got two. I'm trying for yours. Winner, winner. Right here, it's stuck to my finger. Constance Rare, Constance is a surgeon here in Ventura. She's a dear friend and a client, and she is working on the front line. So I'm so happy, uh, Constance, you won. And Yay. we both have kids the same age. We're a day apart. We were actually in Cottage Hospital together with children, but didn't know each other then. Um, but we were both there. Oh, wow. So anyway, happy, happy holidays and Merry Christmas and happy Merry Thanksgiving. Christmas, everybody. And we love when you guys follow and watch us. We love it. And thank you to my special guest thank and my you. dear friend, Rhonda Baby. And you know there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And we will see you here live next time. Cheers. Cheers.